we'll be looking at our most powerful test that is our MPT using Lemma Person Lemma and trying to find the most powerful test of a particular distribution is the same thing as finding the critical region of that distribution. Now I'll be using the example on the normal distribution to explain how to find the most powerful test using lemma person lemma. Now we have this question here, it says let x subscript to 1 up to subscript n, which is a, a random variable, uh, be a sample from normal distribution. So we have this n here, which represents normal distribution with mean mu and the variance of 36. So the variance here is 36 such that the null hypothesis here, which is uh, 50, is testing against uh, the alternative hypothesis, which is 55. So we are testing mu of 50 against mu of 55. Now, with this, we are to obtain the most powerful test of this uh, distribution using the information given to us here. Now, the first thing we should note is this uh, code here. We have the mean and the variance of 36. Our variance remain 36 throughout. Then we have uh, the null hypothesis, which is a uh, mu naught, stand as a uh, 50, which we are testing against this alternative hypothesis, mu subscript 1, which is a uh, 55. Now, the first thing we are going to look at, we state the hypothesis. So we say the hypothesis. So we're going to have uh, h naught equals 50 versus alternative hypothesis equals 55 so this is all we are testing in this uh, most powerful test now the most powerful test formula that is what we're going to look at now which is given us lambda equals to uh, you can see less than or equals to k so this is a likelihood of mu naught which is likelihood of the null hypothesis when mu equals to uh, 55 divided by likelihood of the alternative hypothesis that is when mu equals to 55 so less than or equals to the constant now we need to look at the normal distribution what is the density function of a normal distribution and this is given us f of x equals to 1 over square root of 2 pi sigma square exponential raised to the power minus 1 over 2 sigma square into bracket x minus mu or is a power of 2 now this is the density function of a normal distribution now we can rewrite this density function this way this denominator here we can bring it up and if you do that we are going to have a uh, f of x equals to 2 pi sigma square raised to the power minus 1 over 2 exponential raised to power minus 1 over 2 sigma square into bracket x minus mu raised to power of 2 now we can see now the denominator is already up here and that is why we have a negative of this a power of half now we need to take the likelihood of this uh, density function here now that takes us to the next line. We have our take the likelihood of the function. I will take the likelihood of the function. We're going to have um, mu equals to 2 pi sigma square raised to the power minus n over 2 exponential raised to the power minus summation into bracket x minus mu raised to the power of 2 divided by 2 sigma square. So the only difference here now is that you now after taking the likelihood, then we have a minus n here, then we have summation here. The reason why we have summation here is that we have our random variable x is involved in this power here. So after taking the likelihood, we remember the formula for most powerful test, so which is a likelihood of mu naught and over likelihood of mu one. So we are now going to see the same likelihood of mu naught divided by likelihood of mu 1 equals to we have a uh, 2 pi sigma square raised to the power minus n over 2 exponential raised to the power minus summation x minus mu naught raised to the power of 2 divided by 2 sigma square 
everything divided by 2 pi sigma square raised to the power minus n over 2 exponential raised to the power minus summation x minus mu 1 or raised to the power 2 divided by 2 sigma square the two sigmas i mean the sigma square is our variance so we have it as less than or equals to k now if you look at this step here this function here is the same thing here. so this two pi sigma square raised to power minus n over two is going to cancel the denominator here and as such we're going to have exponential raised to power minus summation x minus mu naught or raised to power two divided by 2 sigma square all divided by summation exponential raised to the power minus summation x x minus mu 1 raised to the power of 2 divided by 2 sigma square then we have it as less than or equals k and if you remember our mu naught is 50 from the hypothesis and our mu 1 is 55 now the variance sigma square is given as 36. Now we substitute all this value into these um, equations here, and we're going to have uh, our into these inequalities here, and we're going to have our uh, exponential raised to the power minus summation x minus 50 raised to the power of 2 divided by 2 into bracket 36 divided by exponential raised to the power minus summation x minus 55 raised to the power of 2 divided by 2 36 that is less than or equals k now that we have this looking at this critically before we even expand this uh, bracket this is exponential this is exponential they have the same base so this denominator here we can lift it up using the knowledge of indices and doing so there's a negative value become positive now let's see we have our exponential raised to the power minus summation x minus 50 raised to the power of 2 divided by 72 multiplied by exponential raised to the power summation x minus 55 square uh, divided by 72 is less than or equals k now these two multiplied by 36 give us this 72 now that we have this now we have the same base we can pick one and this multiplication become plus so we are adding this power together using one exponential and that will result to exponential raised to the power minus summation x minus 55 Rest 50 raised to the power of 2 divided by 72 plus summation x minus 55 bracket close raised to the power 2 divided by 72 is less than or equals k. Now that we have this now, these are x minus 50 raised to the power of 2. We're going to expand this bracket and we're going to expand this bracket here x minus 55 raised to the power of 2. We're going to expand this, we're going to expand this. And such, we're going to have an exponential raised to the power minus summation into bracket x square minus 100x plus 2500 divided by 72 plus summation x square minus 110x plus 3025 divided by 72 less than or equals k. Now we can now use this summation here that is the negative summation to open this bracket the summation here is going to be minus summation x square minus under summation x but don't forget we have minus here this minus will neutralize this minus and we're going to have plus now we can see here we do not have any variable of x here so here we are going to have a 2500 multiplied by n now the same thing is going to happen here and the value here will change to negative so such we're going to have an exponential raised to the power minus summation x square plus 
100 summation x minus 2500n plus summation x square minus 110 summation x plus 3025n all divided by 72 less than equals k now this is just like taking the LCM here since we have the same denominator so we have everything over 72 now this minus x raised to the power 2 here will cancel this summation x raised to the power 2 this will cancel this now plus 100 summation x minus 110 summation x will give us minus 10 summation x and the minus 2500n plus 3025n by the time we'll subtract that we are going to have a plus 525n and we're going to have this uh, exponential raised to power minus 10 summation x plus 525n divided by 72 less than or equals k okay we've simplified this further what we need now is to take the log of the two sides we we'll take the log here. We we'll take the log here. If we take the log here, the log here is going to neutralize this. So we're going to have um, take the log, and after taking the log, we're going to have um, minus ten summation x plus five hundred twenty-five n divided by seventy-two less than or equals log k. Can you see that? The log has neutralized this exponential. So what remains here is this power. And that is what we have here. Then we have a log k. So we have a log k. All right. If we cross multiply this, we're going to have a minus 10 summation x plus 5 to 5 in less than or equals to 72 log k by cross multiplication and taking this 5 to 5 n to this other side here we're going to have a minus 10 summation x less than or equals to 72 log k minus 525 n now we cannot make this uh, summation x the subject if you make the summation x the subject, that means we are going to divide through by this coefficient of uh, x, summation x rather. And that will take us to the next letter. We have a divide both sides by the coefficient of summation x. And if we divide both sides by the coefficient of summation x, we're going to have uh, summation x is greater than or equals to 525n minus 72 log k divided by 10 can see the inequality sign has changed from less than or equals to to greater than or equals to y we also divide by a negative value we we'll divide by a negative value and that is why we have this so now this is our summation x easily we can get our x bar that is the mean from this summation x by dividing through by n if you divide this by n we're going to have a summation x divided by n and that is our x bar then we'll divide this one too by n i will say divide both side by n if you divide both side by n we're going to have our x bar greater than or equals to 525 n minus 72 log k divided by 10 n so since we have an x bar to be greater than or equals to this so we've used we've proved that the most powerful test of that distribution using lemma person lemma give us x bar greater than or equals to 5 to 5 n minus 72 log k divided by 10 n and all this is now a constant uh, k prime so now we're gonna have here saying x bar is greater than or equals to k prime so this is uh, the most powerful test of 
the normal distribution with variance of 36 testing the null hypothesis of mean 55 i mean of mean 50 against the alternative hypothesis of mean 50 and the end result here we have a 525 n minus 72 log 